Don't you hate when you know you're strong, you lift weights all the time, but... But, especially as women, we have to be really deliberate in putting on muscle in the first place, and that is where hypertrophy training comes in. Nice big round shoulders and delts, a round peach, legs that are popping out of our leggings, and a tight core to kind of draw everything together. That's what allows us to get that nice visual physique and gives us that look like you lift bod that makes you just want to take a gym selfie all day long. <laughs> Definitely. So what you're saying is certain areas of your body just take a little extra attention, right? Yeah, exactly. So I find that with my clients, we just have to be a little bit more intentional about bringing up those certain areas, especially um, the shoulders, the glutes, and the hamstrings for sure. And then we're just going to add in the quads and the abs to kind of put that all together and give everything a little boost. I love it. So we're going to supplement certain parts of our body, which is why we've dubbed this workout the vitamin workout. It is adding on and making better what you're already doing. Yeah, exactly. So what we're gonna do is one move for each of those body parts. We're just gonna straight set everything, three to four sets, 10 reps a piece, um, short rest in between, 30 seconds to a minute. And this is a workout that you can do once a week if you're already on a program. If you're not, maybe you do it two to three times a week. It's not an overall standalone thing, but it's definitely that little catch-all that kind and again, gives everything a little boost. I love it, let's get to the demos. All right. So we're gonna show you a bent over rear delt raise here and Jen is going to demonstrate. So she's going to get into a good strong bent over position, hinging the hips back, really nice flat back. She's gonna have a pronated grip here, which basically means thumbs stay together in the up position, they're gonna point down. So she's got thumbs together here and basically think like a string is pulling that dumbbell up, really focusing on feeling almost the top of your tricep so it stays in the rear delt, not the upper back. Really nice and slow and controlled in that arc. Holding the nice strong bent position. Looks good. There you go, bent over rear delt race. So we're gonna show you an incline reverse crunch here. Obviously you're gonna set up on an incline bench, which we've got here. Jen's going to lie down back on the bench, grab hands behind you so that you're secure. She's gonna lift her uh, legs up, knees about a 90 degree angle here, and then engaging through the core. She's going to lift her butt up off the bench, toes toward the ceiling, slow lower down, really controlling her butt down so it's not dropping down on that bench. Toes stay up in between reps, and then as she finishes, she's gonna let those toes go on down to the ground. So we are going to show you a frog pump. Great exercise, love it. It has pump in the name. So you're gonna set up lying on your back as Jen is. She's gonna go ahead and rest her arms to brace, and then she's going to bring her feet together close to your butt as you can comfortably, and then squeeze the feet together, and together squeeze the feet down into the ground as you bridge up, keeping a nice strong core position, really focusing on squeezing the glutes. Slow lower down. Good, frog pump. So we are going to show you a Valside eccentric shelf here. You're gonna set up on the floor on your mat with your Valsides. Jen's gonna start on her back, bring the feet up as if you're going to come into a bridge, which she is going to do, squeezing those glutes, core nice and tight, keeping that strong position. She is going to lower her body down, straightening out the legs away from her. Body moves as a unit, under control, and then coming back up into that bridge. Slowly lowering as much as you can under control to your end range of motion, and then all the way down, back up to the bridge, controlled, slow, lower. Bass slide, eccentric shelf. So we're gonna show you how to do a sissy squat here. Jen is going to demonstrate. So she's set up in a rack here. We've got two 25 pound bumper plates on the floor. That's a pretty good height, but basically you just wanna get your heels a couple inches off the ground. Two by four is another good option. So heels on that elevated uh, surface. Jen's got the backs of her hands on the rack. Um, gonna keep the shoulders and chest nice and open and that's really just for balance. So what she's going to do here is lower down keeping her glutes squeezed nice and tight and shooting her knees forward to keep this really, really nice straight body angle as she lowers down, really engaging the quads, feeling that and big squeeze back up. So again, big keys, squeeze the glutes, knees forward as you come down, straight body angle. Range of motion might not be quite as deep as she can go, so it might look a little bit more like this. But there you go, sissy squat. Make sure you keep your eye on your inbox in the next few days. We've got a lot more stuff coming your way.
And don't forget to click to download the free PDF that reviews all of the information that we just covered about how to get big, big, huge, 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 like pretty woman. Check it out. Woo!